we have seen basic concepts of stack and we have already seen stack implementation with arrays now let's see stack implementation with linked list before that let's quickly recap stack concepts stack is an abstract data type it is collection of entities that are maintained in sequence addition of elements will be on top of most recently added item and removal of most recently added item from the same end you can imagine stack data structure like this stack of plates if you want to add new plates we usually place that on top if you want to remove we will remove from the same end top see here one is already in stack two can be added on top of this one similarly three four five and six also only top element can be removed first so remove the six first then remove five four three two respectively the operation of adding an element to stack is known as push and the operation of removing an element from the stack is known as pop push and pop operations occur only at one and referred to as top last element added to the stack will be the first one to be removed the operations of stack makes it last in first out data structure array can be used to implement bounded stack bounded stack means stack is limited to fixed number of items the program must keep track of most recently added item of the stack to keep track most recently added item variable top will be used with arrays we can implement bounded stack array is fixed size and items of the array are stored in contiguous manner in memory once stack is full then we cannot add items into stack in that situation we can increase the size of the array for example here we have stack of size 8 if it is filled then we have to create new array of size 16 by doubling its size we have to copy all of the stack contents into this newly created array that copying of all these items will take order of n time if we have n elements within this stack so stack implementation will with arrays is not suitable when we cannot determine the size of the stack in advance as the linked lists are not stored in contiguous manner in memory linked list can grow and shrink as needed in previous class we have seen stack implementation with linked list by inserting at tail position if you implement stack like that it will take order of n time because every time we need to find the top within the top link we have to place the new node so if you have n elements then it will take big o of n time but if we place our newly inserted node at head it will take only order of one time let's see stack implementation with link list by inserting new node at head stack implementation with link list is similar to insertion at the head in single link list now what you have to do just assume it as stop push up operation will take big O of one time and pop operation will also take big O of one time means constant time if we want to add one element to our stack in linked list implementation we need to allocate memory dynamically on heap this create node function will allocate memory for linked list node on heap by using this mlog function base address of allocated memory will be stored within this new node pointer now new node pointer is having this address 1024 means this new node is pointing to this location in the heap if we pass argument 1 here the value 1 will be stored within the new node data field so this one will be placed in the data field initially newly created node next field will be null so null will be placed uh, this create node function will return the new node address to calling function here calling function is push now this new node pointer in push will hold the address of this newly created node now this new node pointer in push function will be pointing to newly created node initially global variable top will be null means stack is empty here top is null if top is null make this new node as top copy the contents of new node into top pointer now top is also pointing to this new node again we want to perform this push operation so new node will be created and its address 1040 is stored in this new node pointer see here top is not null means we have one node within our stack so place this top in new node next field previously new node next field was zero now copy the address of the top 1024 
into this new node next field now this new node will be pointing to this top we have two nodes within our stack but still top is pointing to first node so now make this new node as top so assign this new node address into this top so now this top is also pointing to this recently created node similarly for this push function also new node will be created its next field is null here also we have some contents within our stack so new node next field should be point to top copy this top contents into new node next field now new node is pointing to top we have three nodes within our stack and our top is pointing to second node but top should point to the most recently added item so update the top new node address into this top pointer now top is also pointing to this recently created node in array implementation increment top index and add item at top index after checking overflow condition but in linked list implementation we no need to check for overflow condition because linked lists are not stored contiguously in memory linked list can grow as needed even if you write push function code like this also works we already know these two statements will work when stack is not empty let's check for when stack is empty i just forget about all this content just we have created only one node in that case initially top will also be pointing to null so its address is zero let's check whether this code works for when stack is empty new node next initially it is null new node next should be assigned with top what is top top is zero so again zero address will be copied into this new node next field so this is fine then copy the new node address into top so top will be pointing to this node when top is empty also these two statements will work so instead of writing code like this we can use this code both will work in same way but this code will be more clear for understanding right now we have three items in our stack top is pointing to most recently added node if you want to perform pop operation it should remove top node from the stack this can be simply done by advancing the top pointer but we dynamically created memory for this node we need to free that memory to avoid memory leaks so before advancing top pointer store its contents into temporary pointer so now temp is also pointing to this most recently added item within stack this temp pointer will be used to delete this node then advance the top pointer by storing top next contents into top now we can delete this node with the help of this pointer deletion can be done with this free function most recently added item deleted now same process will be repeated for next pop operation also store top in temporary pointer now this top address 1040 is copied into this temp then advance the top now top is pointing to this first node then delete this node the second node is deleted suppose we performed one more pop up operation store the top in temporary pointer since only one node is present within our stack this is the last node its next field is null that null will be stored within top so now top is null then we need to delete this node node is deleted after deleting that last node stack will be empty now stack is empty if we try to perform one more pop operation on empty stack stack underflow will happen so we need to handle that to handle that we need to add this logic if top equal to null means stack is empty then we need to raise stack underflow error if top is null we cannot perform any pop operations similarly to array implementation we need to advance the top after checking underflow condition and delete the previous top node this is complete program for stack implementation with linker list include this header file to use dynamic memory allocation functions this is the node structure for single link list initially global variable top will be null means stack is empty at compile time memory will be allocated automatically for arrays but while implementing with link list we need to allocate memory dynamically this create node function will allocate memory on heap by using this mlloc function this mlloc function will return the base address of newly created block of memory 
that will be saved within this new node pointer with this new node pointer we can add the data into newly created node this is push function it has one parameter this push function calls the create node function this create node function will return newly created node address that will be stored within this new node pointer place the top in new node next field means we are making new node points to top and then make this newly created node as top this function is not returning anything so its written type is void this is pop function it will check for underflow condition if stack is not empty we need to remove top node so advance the top pointer before deletion of the top node after advancing this top pointer delete the previous top means previous top is stored within this temporary pointer so delete this top node by using this reference temporary pointer here also we are not returning anything so this function return type is also void this display function will print the contents of stack we need to check whether stack is empty or not how can we check stack is empty or not if top is null then stack is empty means we are copying this top into temp so if temp is null then stack is empty if stack is not empty then print the contents of the stack this while loop will print the node data then advance this temp pointer until temp not equal to null if we execute this program here we are performing three push operations so now stack contents are 7 6 and 5 and here we performed one pop operation most recently added item will be removed means item at top will be removed here 7 is the most recently added item so 7 will be removed then contents of stack are 6 and 5 if we push 8 then stack contents are 8 6 and 5 